What up, Mix and Others? It's your boy Marcus back in the building. And today we covering the police raid that broke up a hundred person warehouse orgy. So this story crazy as hell. I didn't know people still actually did this, uh, especially nowadays with all the COVID and all the, uh, the super gonorrhea going around. I mean, this is craziness, man. But anyway, the police in Paris, right? They broke up a uh, uh, hundred people having an orgy in a warehouse. Bruh. Now they broke this up because they were breaking the COVID and social distancing rules. Seems like they should have just broke it up anyway. That's way too many people spreading other diseases other than COVID, but I digress. Now reports say none of the people actually fought back and cooperated with the police. My thing is like, of course not, all right? You're in the middle of having an orgy, you're butt naked, you got your boner out. You wanna get pepper spray on that? No, you don't. No, you don't, all right? If you get pepper spray on that, you might die on impact. I, I don't know, it's very sensitive. Pepper spray, it's, you know, I mean, that's just like a bucket of acid right on you. Right on the family jewels, they coming off, all right? So of course they cooperated. My thing is like, seriously people, I mean, I know you gotta get your freak on, but you can still get your freak on with less than 100 people. I, I feel like it's possible. So that's crazy, right out the gate. So those involved in the Libertine Party cooperated with the police. There was no resistance to the police. And there's currently a 6 p.m. until 6 a.m. curfew across France aimed at stopping the spread of COVID-19. Three people believed in the, uh, to be the organizers were arrested soon after the 9 p.m. raid, and up to 100 people were fined for non-compliance with regulations. So, not only are you getting fined and having to pay cash, but it made the news, bro. So, like, people are gonna start tracking down who was actually there, and your free flag is gonna be forced to fly. Screw. <laughs> there is a dispensary in Michigan called the Greenhouse. Right now they're offering, if you can uh, prove that you've got a COVID vaccine uh, um, uh, recently, they will actually give you a free joint, no purchase necessary. Smoke weed every day. Well, let's dig into these details. Run it. So this movement is built as pots, a pot for shots. Customers will receive one free free uh, roll joint at Greenhouse of Wall Lakes. And if they're written proof, they have received a COVID-19 vaccine. There's no purchase necessary, and the deal is good from Friday, January 22nd through Sunday, February 28th for those 21 and over with a valid state ID. Now, I know a lot of people out there don't actually smoke marijuana, but I gotta be honest with you. If you're trying to get people to get that COVID vaccine, this is a really good way to do it. Because, I mean, it's a dispensary, right? They probably got, like, tons of weed. They're giving you, like, one joint, right? Just for getting something that you probably should get anyway. But, man, that would work. 21 and under? I mean, 21 and under, right? You're looking at that college age, right? 21, you got to be at least 21, right? People most likely to go in there to get that free thing is definitely college kids. Because, you know, when you're that young, you don't have a lot of cash. So, that is going to work. That would definitely work if you keep that going. The only catch is though, is uh, I know they came up with this promotion to promote their business and everything, but they, and they came up with the promotion before all these vaccines came up missing all of a sudden or uh, people, people taking them. But the chance of you being able to get a vaccine and being able to smoke, I mean, they're doing all the older people first or the highly at risk people all people which probably don't smoke J's. So, damn, how does that even work? Well, it got them in the news, so it worked plenty. They probably only had to give out a few joints in there, I mean, but the press coverage alone, and seeming like you all about the community and helping. That's a no risk, high reward situation there, people. That's how you run a business. You giving away free joints and helping the community? and helping end the pandemic and getting a little bit of news coverage. The greatest hustle I've heard in a long time. Give it up to him. Greatest hustle I've heard in a long time. 
pop for shots. Mm. Nice. Now, in other COVID news, though, there are people uh, going to different states, going to like Nebraska and Alaska, and uh, just jumping on the line, taking these vaccines from people who actually need them, and uh, just skipping the line. And like, why are you doing this, bro? Like, what are you doing? Wait your turn. If you're taking it from an older person, you basically might be killing them. All right? All right, we all need to work together and just do the right thing and wait until our time comes up. Because otherwise, hmm, it's gonna be chaos, man. You're gonna make this whole thing last longer. And if anybody finds out that you skipped the line and did any of that, you looking at an online massacre, man. People are, I mean, there's ways for people to find out who you are and what you did, and you won't wind up being on CNN as asshole of the week or something like that, you know what I mean? Or you might make donkey of the day. Oof, even worse. Shout out to The Breakfast Club. In entertainment news, Justice League, the Snyder Cut's coming out soon. March 18th, hopefully they don't push it back no more. Some people don't care about this because the Justice League movie, the original one, wasn't that great. And I think it was had to do a lot with the story and them changing directors or whatever, but the just the general look of the main villain was terrible. This dude looked like, he looked like a PS3 character. You know what I mean? Like, what is going on? I mean, look at Thanos. That dude looked like he was there, man, when I watched that movie. I mean, you know what I mean? That didn't look like special effects. It looked like it was a giant titan beating the crap out of people. But Justice League, hmm, they could have done so much more with it. So that's why I'm excited to see the, uh, the, uh, the Snyder cut of the film and see what new scenes they add in there to make it a little more sense. Cause it seemed like it was a lot cut out, bro. Like that movie seemed like it was supposed to be longer or maybe supposed to be a two-parter or something. But I um, can't wait for it. It's finally coming out. The fans made it happen. March 18th, don't push it out. HBO Max, check it out. But man, it better be good. Cause the first time, oh, the first Justice League that came out to the theaters, disappointment, bro. And I wanted to like it, man. I'm super biased. So I wanted to like the Justice League, but it just wasn't good, man. It, it, it sucked. Look, I saw it once and I never need to see it again. Isn't that terrible? A superhero movie that you love? I saw it one time and I was like, oh, okay, that was all right. When you see a movie and then wish you would have waited to come out on uh, DVD or uh, uh, streaming, that's terrible. Come on, guys, you gotta do better than this. Come on. But I think Snyder won't let us down. He'll make the movie as good as it can be. All right, mixed notice, that's it for me today. I'm about to make like a baby and head out. If you want to support the channel, go to buymeacoffee.com slash mixed nuts. Remember, we got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And until next time, 